A Canadian military team has now reached the Philippines, but it could still be days before DART, the Disaster Assistance Response Team, is fully deployed. Cameron McIntosh got an insider view on what's really going on and why it takes this long. They're medics and engineers, specialists, part of DART. Tonight, they're on their way. Precisely where? That's still being worked out. The whole deployment of the DART is extremely challenging. It's very fast moving. Retired Lieutenant Colonel Michael Voith is a former DART commander who set up missions in Sri Lanka and Pakistan. He says the logistics of these missions are far from simple. There's still a lot of diplomatic clearance that needs to be done. We need to have access to their, to their airfield. Uh, you need to bring in all your goods. There's customs clearances. Um, there's uh, authority to drive your vehicles on their roads, etc. Right now, the Canadian government says its advance team is working that out, as other DART personnel wait in Hawaii and Guam. They are getting an assessment by the people that we have had arrive on the ground right now. The DART will be uh, available to be deployed at a moment's notice. The UN today is asking for $300 million just to establish the basics. The immediate priority is safe water. For us, it's safe water, sanitation and hygiene. That's DART's expertise. Meanwhile, the U.S. is sending an aircraft carrier as other governments, NGOs and aid agencies start arriving with supplies and assessment teams. But without careful planning, the queue of do-gooders could paralyze the country's working airstrips and ports. Everybody in the world is sending relief, um, relief goods to, uh, to the host nation. And so uh, we're competing for, uh, for slots on the airfield. In fact, one coalition of Canadian NGOs already on the ground says it makes sense for some of that flood of aid to hold back. What's important is that professional agencies be uh, working together to identify needs so that they don't duplicate with each other, so that they're going to areas where the needs are clear and uh, have been identified by the, by the local government. One of Canada's roles through DART, says Voith, will be to provide the necessities so other aid agencies can get in and do their work. So the DART will buy time for these organizations um, to, uh, to, to, to muster their resources and send them in. If all goes well, the entire DART contingent should be fully deployed and operational within six to seven days. While the Canadian government hasn't ruled out more aid, there's no indication so far on what that might be. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg. A team of 400 from around the world is helping save lives in the Philippines. Since Saturday, volunteers have used OpenStreetMap, known as the Wikipedia of maps, Using satellite data, they're basically marking roads, rivers, and buildings to demonstrate the reality on the ground. The technology is not new, but for the first time, the Red Cross is using this site and coordinating its volunteers around it, allowing for maps like this showing which buildings are damaged. 